Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 47. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. Right, we're here for the Class S North American Tour. We're going to be going in the North America. Fuck yeah. Uh, <laughs> I have no fucking clue what that was. We're going to be taking the RS200. We're starting off with Indianapolis, Sebring, Road America, Road Atlanta, and then Laguna Seca. Let's fucking do this. Right, here we go. I've reached one in level 12. Those are rookie numbers. Zeno, you bitch. That's, that's rookie numbers. You've got to be wanted level 52. Holy fuck, this thing's quick. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Ah, oh, look at it. I literally just sighted the other day, Brev. No excuse. <laughs> All I'm hearing are excuses from Zeno. Hey! All I'm hearing are excuses from Zeno. Hey! Oh, fuck. I wasn't paying attention. Attention, level one. Okay, this is a nice car. Do you know what? While we are here, because I can, and I'm the boss man, I'm going to do a battle royale. No worries. Thank you so much for some by Kate. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Who's going to win? Who's going to win the battle royale? There's only five fucking gears? I thought there was six. So this car's limited to 155. Oh, shit. Better not have Michelin compounds. Uh, it probably does. Do you know what I do miss? Is, um, Forza Motorsport 2's tyre model. Motorsport 2 was the only game that did it. And they had tyre models where, um, you actually bought different tyres as opposed to just, like, sports, race, and whatnot. And the tyre wear would vary as well, which is insane. K is one! What car? What car? Which car did you win? Let's find out. Ba da ba. Ba da ba. No car. Way! I, th I think we broke the battle royale. It, it's <laughs> it's fucked. Are we not are we not gonna find out what car it was? All right, no car. Lovely. Bam, bam. I'm actually loving this playlist.
This thing is so nice to drive though. I love it. It's such a beautiful color as well. I didn't even notice. I just thought, oh, it's a blue. It's a beautiful blue color. I actually really love how this car looks. Offer accepted! I got a rock band guitar! Woohoo! I got one for 40, 42 quid. So. Yeah, it doesn't come with the drums, but at least I get the guitar and then I can play some rock band. So. Woohoo! Not bad, I'll take that. Uh, so slight issue. The controller died. <laughs> it's just disconnected, it's not working. There we go. Fixed. <laughs> I have zero clue what the hell happened there. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Oi! How the fuck did it spin the wheels like that? most aggressive crash I've ever seen. Whoop. A little bit of a uh, controller issue there. Preferably controller, I'd like you to not have issues today. So uh, if we could avoid those, that would be great. Thank you very much. So yeah, I've bought my Guitar Hero controller, or my Rock Band controller, 43 quid. Not the cheapest, but uh, not the most expensive either. Slow ride, bow, 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 take it easy, bow, bow, bow. Slow ride, bow, 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 take it easy. That was nice. Actually, if I can get it to run, I'm going to see if I can get it to run with uh, Clone Hero as well. Because then I can run Clone Hero. Clone Hero. Way!
I made a clip of the no brakes incident. <laughs> nice. I'm probably gonna post it as a YouTube short because that was fun. Bit, uh, overshot that corner there. Honestly, I'm so excited for Supper Park. It's not that long left, actually. Five more days. And then the member of Thumb will be here. I'm also going to do, um, and I think I'm announcing it as of right now, uh, for the first hour of the stream, I'm going to do double. Double time. So every single membership that's bought in the first hour, the time is double. It's going to be worth double. had a failure and stopped on track. Oh no! Poor Ocon! Not bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, we're going to finish off these, uh, what's it called, these final races. I think we got another three to go. Two or three. And then we'll go and do uh, some dirt rally for a bit. I'll be honest, I, I think I'm bordering uh, suspicion with McLaren's performance the past few races. The fact that Lando can go from being pretty much struggling to be in the top 10 
with a lot of races or working very hard to get like P6, P7, P8, those kind of positions to second. That's quite impressive in my books. And all I can say is fair fucking play. Oh my gosh, it's a double whammy! Oh my god, I've got no fucking clue what's going on today. All of the cars are missing their breaking points. Hopefully the AI issue in this game gets... Uh, well, it wouldn't be in this game. But hopefully when we get to Motorsport 5, that issue uh, becomes a thing of the past. Because uh, that's happening quite a lot now. I will be honest, I'm super excited to move on to uh, Horizon 1. Because once we finish this game, the next game in the actual, uh, what's it called, playthrough, is going to be Horizon 1. Obviously, I'm not doing all the motorsport games and all the Horizon games, because I want to do it in chronological order, as opposed to, um, what's it called, the other one. Number order. So once we finish this one, technically we'll be uh, mixing in some uh, Horizon Motorsport. It will go Horizon Motorsport, Horizon Motorsport, up until we get to Horizon 4, and then it will go to Horizon 5, because obviously there wasn't a Motorsport between the two Horizon games. And then obviously, depending on how the new Motorsport is, Depends on whether I cover it in the Mega Series as well or not. It's not confirmed yet. Motorway, way. Bad on to the final lap. I'm 
I'm so excited for the new WRC game. Like, chat, you have no idea. It's one of those that I'm I'm gonna be like proper addicted to when it comes out. I think it could quite easily exceed F123's playtime. Quite easily. Obviously we're playing a lot of dirt rally to sort of get into the flow of things. I think that's what I did with F122 to be honest. I got started playing it to get back into F122. Because F123 was coming out and I wanted to try it out, see what it was like. And obviously I bought it, I got addicted to it. F123 is really enjoyable and the only reason I enjoy it so much is because the handling model is it, it's so good to drive, it's so satisfying. And it's one of those handling models that works really well. It works so well being able to drive those cars. So. Not bad. Way. F1 mod has a separate online lobby. Yeah, so that is the Grand Prix, but it's online. So the AI still works exactly the same for that. You can still turn the AI difficulty up. Mark is a bit of a knob though. In um what's it called? F one. Then what are you doing then? That's not AI then. The, the AI... I've played multiplayer. What do you mean? The online mode does not have a set difficulty. Unless you're talking about something else, in which case you're wrong. <laughs> like, there's no other way of putting it. There is definitely a difficulty setting. If you go into F1 world, there is a difficulty setting that you can increase the AI for events that have select cars. For example, F2 cars and F1 cars. You can set the AI difficulty to make it harder. If you're on um, 
using an F1 World Car in the series event, you can use an upgrade. Um, what's it called? The tech level modifier, which makes the cars faster, which in turn makes the AI more difficult. It's not hard to explain. I've played 100 plus hours in F1. I understand how the game works. The only ones that you can't change the difficulty are like limited time events that the game has to work out based off of a leaderboard. Things like the Alfa Romeo event that they did before, where you started in a certain position and had to get far enough in front to sort of unlock a livery, those ones are locked, but they're limited time events. They're not actual normal online events. So those kind of things, you can't change the difficulty, but there's like four of them at any given time. And those still are not online events. All the online stuff, even when you go to the multiplayer section, you can change the AI difficulty. You just need to look for the setting. Because I've done it. I've played with friends. I've played with Kodo, I've played with Alex, both on just individual Grand Prix events to change the difficulty. Me and Alex, we were on 55, and I think me and Kodo were on 75, so. But there is definitely difficulty options. What event are you actually loading? Trying to do this one-handed is not a good idea. I love this song. Uh, I'm gonna like it. I'm gonna add it to my my library. Cause why not?
Way! Not bad, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Let's do this. Vroom vroom! Laguna Seca. I actually really love Laguna Seca. I think it's a little... No! Don't crash into my car. That's not fair. crash into yours. How do you like that, huh? What? He's done it again. Fucking hell. Unbelievable. All of these guys don't know how to drive. Including me. Played it at launch, which it was locked then, but I never touched it since. Yeah. The option was brought out, like, one or two updates after it came out. But the options are still there. So, difficulty definitely is an option. So, when people still complain about F1 World and that the AI is too easy and whatnot, they added it after the community said that the AI was too easy. And literally on the first update, they added difficulty options. Way! If only they did it a race, one race sooner. To be fair, Max Verstappen's already been crowned, like, driver's champion for this year anyways. So he's got 2021, 2022, and 2023 in the bag. Not bad. 
We've got another two more laps to go. I will say, like, having Ferrari win a race is, is very good. Breaks that streak that Red Bull's had for so long. Did Ferrari get one too then? Lando P2, Lewis P3. Damn. Who won then? Was it Charles or Carlos? Operator. Wait. That's pretty sick. Come on. Ah. Smooth operator. Smooth brain operator. Cause I got a smooth brain. What? And that's a good result. That's the American tour completed. Oh my god, I am tired. Almost level 60 as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.